Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name's Caitlin and this is the Galloway Farm YouTube channel. We post new homesteading videos every Saturday. So in this video, I'm going to be making bread and butter pickles or sweet pickles and it is actually a nine day recipe. It's actually very simple. It is currently 9.54 at night because for some reason that's when I decide to start these projects. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. I've got 25 cucumbers laid out that I've already washed and are drying. What we're gonna do is slice those and then we're going to put them in this jar and then also this smaller jar because they will shrink. So when they've shrunk in here, we can add the cucumbers from this jar to this one. Got our pickling salt here that we'll be adding in and our half a gallon of water. So we're gonna go ahead and get started slicing the cucumbers. And just remember, knife safety. So I've filled up my gallon jar here and this little pint size jar as well. Um, I wanted to mention that the smaller the cucumber and the fresher the cucumber the better. That will help make sure that they are crunchier when it's all said and done. So now we are going to mix together half a gallon of water and half a cup of salt and then we're going to pour that in here. Any leftover water and salt will go in here and again um, when these cucumbers shrink we'll be able to put these in here. And I did only use 19 cucumbers, so I didn't need 25. So I've got my half a gallon of water here. I am going to measure out half a cup of salt and then we'll pour it in here. So it is now day two. To get things rolling, we're gonna go ahead and pour out the liquid from the jars. And I've already mixed up a new half a gallon of water with half a cup of salt here. So then we'll pour that into the jars. So you can see that the cucumbers in the gallon jar have shrunk. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the cucumber from the pint size jar in the gallon jar. And now we're gonna pour in our half a gallon of water with half a cup of salt. Now we are back at day three and today we're going to do the same exact thing we did yesterday. We're going to empty out the water and salt from the jar and then we're going to add in a new half a gallon of water with half a cup of salt. Okay, so we are on night four of our bread and butter pickle recipe. We are done with the water and salt mixture. We're moving on to half a gallon of water and two teaspoons of alum mixture. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the liquid from the jar. Okay, so I've got my alum, and I'm gonna add two teaspoons into my half a gallon of water. And that's it for night four. Okay, so we are now on night five. Tonight we're going to do the same exact thing that we did yesterday. I've already poured out the liquid from the jar and I've already mixed in two teaspoons of alum with half a gallon of water. So we're now going to pour that into the jar. Now moving on to night six. Tonight is a repeat of the past two nights and is the last night of our alum and water mixture. And I have already went ahead and done that for tonight just because I figured you've already seen me pour out liquid and pour in liquid enough times that you get the point. So I spared you those details. So we made it to night seven. Now I'm going to pour out the water and alum mixture from the jar and we're gonna start a new mixture on the stove. So I've poured out the liquid from the jar and I've already measured out eight cups of just white distilled vinegar. Now I'm gonna add in six cups of granulated sugar. And now I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of pickling spice. Now we're going to mix this together, bring it to a boil, and then let it cool before we pour it back in the jar. So our mixture has cooled after coming to a boil, so now we're gonna pour it into the cucumbers. So it's now night eight. So what we're gonna do tonight is just pour the vinegar mixture off of the cucumbers into the pot, bring it to a boil, let it cool a little bit, and then pour it back over the cucumbers. So we are on our final night, night nine of our bread and butter pickle recipe. And I'll go ahead and show you our little setup that we have. So tonight we are going to be canning our pickles and I've already got everything here washed and ready to go, got our equipment. And then I've got our pickles in here. Um, they're warming up, coming to a boil. And then I've got our water bath here also warming up. So next we will put our jars in the water bath to get the jars warmed up. And then we'll just wait to put the pickles in. I just removed our jars from the water bath to warm up. So now I'm gonna start adding in the pickles now that they've come to a boil.
six jars filled up with our pickles. You saw Jared come in and kind of push them down on the sides with a fork just to make more room so we could fit more pickles in the jars. So now what we're going to do is ladle in some liquid into the jars. So our pickles are now processing in the water bath. They're going to process for 10 minutes and then we'll take them out to cool. Alright, so our pickles are done processing so we're going to move them onto the towel to cool. So all the pickles are out of the water bath. A few have actually already sealed. We're going to wait for the rest to seal, but they look great. So we finally finished our bread and butter pickles. It's been nine nights and I'm so glad to finally have our pickles. Um, I will leave the recipe in the description box below for you if you want to try and leave a comment down below if you do decide to try them. Um, but otherwise, just make sure you like the video before you go and subscribe to see what's going on here around the farm. And we'll see you in the next one.